Hey, it's John and Mike from Brew-Jews.com. We're back again. And you know what? It's starting to get hot out. <laughs> Summertime is, is right around the corner, if not here already. It's, it's going to so, be So um, we've been starting to think about what it means to brew in the summer. What are, our, what are our summer brewing plans? Obviously, there are summer beers, but there's also, I mean, this is the season to yeah. really be out on your porch, in your garage, in your kitchen, wherever it is that you brew, and just brew, brew, brew. So... Um, <laughs> Now's the time to be doing it. John, what you got in the dog? Oh, okay, so my summer brewing plans. Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Okay. Well, I've had the ingredients to brew my first Lambic uh, in my basement for weeks now. I swear I will get around to doing that. It's a, I, I bought it, uh, I brought extract, so it's not even as if the brewing day is going to be long and arduous. It's just I just haven't had a chance mm. to get around to it. You know, things like... Uh, yard work get in the way and then uh, we just I don't know I've had a lot of things to go to and so on and so forth but I swear I will get that going two I have these experiments that I want to do I think one of the things I alluded to before uh, on on one of the posts when I did a profile on red wheat was to do some kind of comparison between red wheat and white wheat I threw out let, let me do a smash and people are like you're really gonna do a smash I said yeah I'm gonna do a smash but uh, I think we have some ideas of how we can best do that without totally getting a stuck sparge on the brew deck. And then I have um, I was collecting Australian and New Zealand hops uh, over a period of months, just going to the uh, Cambridge, Massachusetts uh, homebrew shop and just uh, buying um, packets that I saw. But I, I, have, I think I have enough to like do a, a pretty cool down under IPA. Um, I have to figure out what to bitter with and then what to uh, flavor with and dry hop with and, and so on and so forth. But I think I have a good uh, breakdown of, of different hops that I want to do for that. So I think that those are all the, the plans I have. I should probably actually stick in a summer beer for summer. Maybe I'll do a Saison. I don't know. Last last summer when we did those that Saison, Saison throwdown, I threw up on that or something. I, mine came out horribly. Um, so I got to redeem myself on that and think I might do that. So that's my plan. Awesome. What's your plan? Well, summer beer, first and foremost, okay. we always throw a big 4th of July bash mm -hmm. in the house. So i um, kind of running out of time, but wheat beers, fast, quick, clean, good stuff. So I have that orange wheat that I love to make. I, I, I formulated the recipe years ago. I modeled it after Harpoon's UFO White, I really like that beer. So yeah. I like the orange citrus mm -hmm. character in it. So I kind of amp up the orange in my my beer, and I, I love that beer. So um, for the Fourth of July, you know, we've got the some of the stuff that we're still drinking now. We got to finish that stout, so it's not there on the Fourth of July. But um, <laughs> you know, but I got the I got the saison. I'll be ready that we did on Big Brew Day. So you know, I've got I've got beers that are lining up for the summer, but I got to get that wheat beer done as a kind of a summer beer. I also probably will make another batch of cream ale sometime soon because that's a great just what you'd call that's to me it's like the best lawnmower beer there is. Mm. Um, mm. It doesn't shy away by being low alcohol. It's just enough alcohol. You drink two or three of those after morning lawn. That's great. So that's another quick easy beer to do with the early summer and still be enjoying it in July and August. Sure. Um, but then as far as just general plans go, there's definitely I'm toying with the idea of laying down something sour that we could enjoy in December or January. Um, I kind of want to do something light in color, but at the same time, I'm really tempted to take my uh, Northern English brown recipe and just make a double batch so we can drink some brown ale, but then also sour the other half nah. and kind of do like a some sort of take on a Ode Brune or something, just, a, just some sort of Flemish brown or something mm -hmm. like that. So um, definitely thinking about that too. So. That's generally the, uh, the, the, the what's plan. on my immediate docket, <laughs> but there's loads of stuff because we're starting to talk more and more about experimenting, learning more about the brewing process, mm. doing stuff that's exciting for the blog. So yeah. Um, so if you've got summer brewing plans or experiments you want to see done, let us know. Just drop a comment because we love that stuff. Um, but um, we're gonna keep brewing. It's getting hot out, so we got to make more beer to drink, right? Yeah, I think so. All that's, right. That's the plan. Cool. The plan. We keep saying the plan. The plan. Okay. All right, so for uh, John and Mike, brew-shoots.com, brew on. Brew on.